What's up YouTube? Coach5515 back again with another video. So this time I'm going to tell you about a story that I had with a possible Bigfoot. So this happened in White River, Arizona. I was doing my EMT schooling at the time. This was back in 2006-2007. There was a lot of Bigfoot sightings and a lot of Bigfoot activity back in um, in those days. I don't know if it's still going on right now, but one one of the stories that I heard from somebody was that there's some houses on um, stilts out there in um, White River. They sit off the ground. I guess it's for the snow when it gets deep, so the house doesn't get buried. So a lady was home with her kids I guess they had just finished dinner and the lady was washing dishes and all of a sudden she she heard her dogs barking outside and then after a while she felt she heard somebody pounding on the side of her house and she tried to look outside there was nothing um, the pounding got harder and harder and it got so hard that it started shaking shaking the house so she looked outside she was washing dishes looked outside and she said there was two two eyes staring right at her and of course she's they're off the off the ground because the house is on stilts so I guess what she saw was the Bigfoot eyes staring right at her through the window and then another story well actually this was in, in the one of the newspapers up there that someone found uh, this was around a place called Holly Lake I believe it's around McNary and around that area around that lake there they found a like a like a, uh, a lean-to or like a shed house or a wiki up kind of like a like a little little shed area to where they they said they believe that it, it was Bigfoot um, where where he stayed or where one of the places he stayed at they found uh, hair samples and you know of course there was the usual um, um, you know like people hearing howling and you know like whooping sounds out there um, when I was out there, I, I remember seeing like some Bigfoot, Bigfoot res researchers in the in, in the area in White River. They would have their uh, their trailers that they pull behind their their vehicles, and and one of the the trailers that I saw it said um, Bigfoot researchers or Bigfoot. Yeah, Bigfoot researchers. Um, you know, there was people always always. Uh, looking for for Bigfoot or you know just people interested in that out in that area and people would come come to town and look look in the area so this happened about I say about 430 in the morning dogs were going crazy in the neighborhood I was asleep our window was cracked open probably like um, probably like two inches it was starting to become springtime um, and in my sleep, I, I, I felt like I was getting sick. I was getting nauseated. I remember, you know, waking up and I felt really sick, like nauseated for real. And I felt like I needed to throw up. I was dizzy. And there was a smell in the house that was awful. Like, like how people explain it on TV, you know, like they say that it smells like a dead carcass. Um, smells like like something dead and it smelled like a skunk so I smelt that in the house and that's what got me nauseated and, I, and when I woke up I heard the dogs barking we didn't have dogs but our neighbors did and the neighbors across the street and behind our house we lived way at the edge of, of the edge the corner back lot of the of the IHS housing and on the other side there was it was fenced around in our yard there was a gate 
way in the back. I say it's about 50 yards away. That, that it was a big yard. No, no, I wouldn't say 50 yards. I'd say about 30 yards. And there was a gate that opened up and it went into the forest. Um, on if you were looking out the back door on our left side, there was an eight-foot fence for for the uh, IHS housing to keep. You know, it was just housing, eight-foot fence on the back side. There was nothing. When you walk out toward the back in the to the backyard, you could see. Um, it'll, it'll go up like an incline, then it'll, it'll flatten out, and then there's trees out back there, and then on the back of that, there's a. Uh, like um, where it used to be, um, a mountain range. There was a ridge up there. There was houses on this side, on the other side of the fence. I say about a quarter mile away, and to the back side there was nothing. I know there was a road that went back there, back that way for like a bus route. Um, on top of that ridge, it was burnt down because they had a huge fire back then, and. It was, I think it was called a rodeo to the sky fire um, happened in the mid 90s so there was burnt forest back there on that ridge which was probably about a mile away two miles away so after waking up I heard the dogs barking so I walked outside and you know try to get some air that smell was still in the air it was still smelled outside the dogs were all barking toward the back of our, our spot our house and the dogs were all barking that way. The neighbor's dogs on this side to to our our to where the street was. Uh, we had the edge house house over here, and where the the edge in the in the back lot corner over here. So there was nothing to our our to our side to the opposite side. So those everybody had dogs, and the dogs were all going crazy, barking back there, and then. All of a sudden, I went back inside, looked around, there was nothing up front, and the, the smell was bad. Um, went back inside, walked out the back door, looked out the, tried to walk around the perimeter of the yard, and, you know, all the dogs were barking. They were looking at me, and they were still barking toward the back area of that, of that, um, behind the IHS housing. And the dogs on this side, for some reason, they all took off toward the highway there was or whatever that bus route was they took off along that that highway and all the dogs started going crazy and they all started like hopping around going crazy barking really loud and I was just standing there they weren't barking at me they were barking at whatever was running around out there so probably like a minute later the dogs sounded like they surrounded whatever because they were all barking because I could tell they were they were barking in one area and then all of a sudden they just stopped and I just stood there this is probably like two minutes after they stopped all those dogs just came trotting down down by by the road these other dogs stopped too and and um, for some reason I heard like like uh, like like whatever it was like scream out and and I think it sounded like a whoop to me because it just like whoop real quick Whoop! And it was loud too. It was loud. It was it was it was out in the distance. Cause behind, behind where that went up to the incline, I know it flattened out. And then on the other side, I never saw what was on the other side. I know there was no houses back there. And and um, you know, whatever it was, it, it sounded like they. I kept watch, kept an eye on the dogs on on the neighbors' dogs, and they they just kept looking up there, and you know. I just kept looking to where they were looking and, and of course it was dark so I couldn't really see and the light was kind of coming up so you know to me I, I think I smelled Bigfoot and because it's because of the activity in the area at that time and you know like how people describe it now of how the smell is I mean I smell that same thing and, and it, was, it was it was pretty bad it was a pretty bad smell to get me nauseated and you know, it was it was something that that, that I believe I, I experienced some kind of Bigfoot activity. So, thank you for watching. That's my story um, about Bigfoot. I have another Bigfoot story that I want to share, but I'm gonna wait till it warms up. This happened up in the Chiska Mountains around my grandma's um, summer camp. 
so hopefully when it warms up probably about another month or two i'll go up there and film it a couple of people want to come with me so you know we'll, we'll hop we'll go up there and check it out but um thank you for watching thank you for subscribing now but urban does cheney's on his way to gallup so you know check him out tomorrow at gallup flea market today is april 1st it's not this is not april fools either this is a true story i've told this several times and um to other people that i know um so Navajo urban does cheatney have a safe trip make sure you know you guys check out his channel um everybody's favorite uncle everybody's favorite chain Navajo urban does cheatney um mr ryan thank you for hooking up with the hooking me up with the shirt the last time we met up um as you saw i wore it in in um my latest video about semi-pro football i didn't show all of it but i was wearing mr ryan's shirt the yazzie yazzie family vlogs and cooking they're on their way to buy list as i'm speaking right now um they're on the, they're going to be on the way back so safe travels to you guys and hope you guys get to your destination safe so thank you for watching guys oh uh, those of you in the, in the um it happened off the res is weight loss challenge hey keep going guys you know it's going to get easier you know it should be getting easier now i don't know how many days you guys have been going so guys i support you guys thank you for watching